most of the time leaders serve. Mm. We serve people. What do you have to say about it? I love it. Yeah, I have a list of 50. That would definitely be one. We serve more than anybody else. You know, that is a, a quality of the, the extreme leader. They come from contribution. So they're all about serve. You know, I mentioned earlier what is needed of you, and then let me step into that. So that's another way of saying, yeah, we, we humbly serve. I wow. remember what I was about to say now. So I think um, the first thing to be a leader is to know yourself. Because you cannot lead others if you can't even deal with your own emotions. And as you beca- you become aware of what triggers your emotions and you start having self-conscious of how you your mind works, how your emotions work. Because how can you have a leader that one day it's nice and calm and the next day he's stressed yelling at people, he's... Having constant this change moods. constant changing mood or changing his words. He said something in the next day is completely different. He said, okay, you can have the water here on the table. And then the next day, Tico, why your water is here? I told you not to do that. So I think when you first learn about yourself and you start understanding your emotions, then you can start working in being a leader. Because I had a hard time understanding my own emotions. And I would do things that I didn't see I was doing, say things I didn't notice I was saying, and it was bad. You know the difference between, I'm going to ask you that question, but let me tell my side. The difference between a boss and a leader. The boss lead by forcing, like imposing and forcing people by the power that you have in your hands. So if you don't do this, I'll fire you, you know. But the leader, it leads by an example. The leader, it leads by uh, inspiration. show inspiration, show the people the way. You know, what about you? What do you, what do you think in, in that same, same uh, sentence? Yeah, I call it push-pull, right? And so the boss pushes and the leader pulls. Wow, amazing. Right? So the boss dominates, pushes, and the leader invites, pulls. The leader is an invitation to step into what's possible. The boss is the micromanager to make you into something perhaps you're not based on my needs. And so I love what you say. I use it push and pull. I work on being a leader that um, doesn't push. I pull. I see So for for many people, uh, being a leader is they were born with. It's so much easier. And... People connect with them like without them, without them, try so hard or strive or taking a course or going to uh, uh, I don't know um, university or college for that. But I, like myself, me and my wife, we struggled at the beginning uh, with our team of barbers. That at the we were kind of forcing. We didn't understand them and s- we didn't learn the background of their their history or journey or ha- whatever happened with them in the past but now we do now we're trying to understand we're trying to engage more and understand what their their dreams are so now it's much easier we have we kind of have the perfect team today because of uh us mm-hmm. because we learned how to be a good leader you know i think we changed over the years and then that change that we work in ourselves, we got a better result uh, with our team because then we are better leaders, so we have better results. But we're still working on it. And I think one thing you said, some people seems like they were natu- naturally born with that skill. They never study, but they're great leaders. And some people like me have to work harder to develop. We this did. Skill. We had to study a lot, read a lot of books, taking courses, uh, mentorship, and all that stuff to become who we are today. And some people just like We're everybody born. follows them. Yeah. You know? What do you have to say about that? People that are naturally born leaders and people that have to develop skills to be good leaders. Yeah. There's a there's a debate, and there'll probably be debate until uh, you and I are no longer on this planet. Nature versus nurture, right? Some people have this belief that. You just picked it up. It's it's an it's an eight, and other people have this belief, and the science says this that it's about environment, right? And so we're a product of our environment. I believe uh, there's a little bit of both going on. I don't believe anything is an eight. I think the 
and the science argues this, that what we get exposed to the most, we actually start becoming, right? We call in psychology social contagion. You get around a person that's positive all the time. After a while, not you the personality, not Ralph the personality, but Ralph the organism. Remember, we have a brain with 100 billion neurons. And so the brain is always picking up information. We call that what five, the five senses, right? The brain is taking the information, and then it mirrors it. And so you mentioned something very powerful. We had to do the work on ourselves. I call that smart growth. Smart growth says, first, I do the work on me. Then I do the work on my people. And then I do the work on my company. And all that happens at the same time. But, it's, but the first step is you doing the work on yourself. Then that gets... Um, we talk about social contagion, emotional contagion, it starts to get picked up. And so whatever the behaviors that you're hiding, you can't hide because the brain picks it up automatically. That's why kids don't say as you, you know, <laughs> they do as you do, right? They're yes. not picking up the, the, ling- the, the verbal. The brain is picking up the behavior. If you're treating someone nasty, but then you're trying to be nice to me and smile in the bar, the brain is picking that up unconsciously. And so I work a lot with people understanding how the brain works in leadership because once you understand that, you know you really can't hide. It's going to show up. If your barbershop is failing, it's not because they're not cleaning up after themselves. It's, not, it's because there's something that they're picking up from you For sure. that's Amazing. shaping them. Yes, I love that.